how to pick your artist or DJ name. Recently, I made a video about certain things that just don't matter that much to your ultimate success, like your age, your location, and yes, even your artist name. What matters to your ultimate success is your music and your brand. After that video, I got so many messages of people asking, well, I understand that my artist name is not the most important thing, but I don't even know how to come up with an artist name. Okay, so I'm gonna run you through an exercise and give you key lessons on how to come up with an artist name or alias. I'm gonna do it, but as long as you promise me and always remember that whatever name you come up with is not going to be the thing that makes you successful. Remember, you don't love your favorite artist because of their name. You know, their name probably even if they changed it, wouldn't matter to you. And even objectively speaking, there's some great artists with tons of success with objectively terrible names. So as long as we keep all that in mind, let's learn how to come up with an artist or DJ name. If you don't know, I'm Justin. I run Cosmic Academy. We're an artist development school, and we've been around for over 10 years. We've worked with over 700 amazing artists and producers, and they get incredible results. They sign to the biggest labels like Tool Room, Armada, Anjuna, Spinit. They play the biggest shows. Now they play Ultra, Electric Zoo. We said three students play EDC this year. We had three students play EDC last year. And believe it or not, but many hundreds of students that come to us either don't have an artist name or they're trying to come up with a new artist name, maybe a second alias. So this is something that we work on. And I'm going to run you through an exercise and give you some lessons on how to maybe come up with yours or maybe your second one if, if you're going through a change. The first thing, I need you to smash that like button. I have no idea what it does for YouTube. What I heard it does is it helps monkeys learn how to rollerblade. You know rollerblading. The monkeys, you know, they're just like humans, but one of the things they've always wanted to do is rollerblade. That's what I've heard. And if you smash that like button, it's going to help the monkeys get into rollerblading. So help them out. So first, let's start out and just understand that there's two different types of names. There's monikers or aliases. That's, you know, obviously a fictitious name. It's not your real name. And there's people that use their real name. So like a moniker would be Dead Mouse or Skrillex or Marshmallow. And then the other category, you know, David Guetta is David Guetta and Eric Prids is Eric Prids. And even like Prince, that's his real name. So the first lesson, should you use a moniker or your real name? So there's positives and negatives to both. Using a moniker can like kind of allow you to build some sort of like character, but there's two negatives with that. Number one, the character that you build is not going to be authentically you. So you're always going to have to be thinking like in the mind of that character. And for a lot of my students, it's very hard. The other negative thing with a moniker, and this is a big one, but you might be stuck long term with a name you end up hating. For instance, the chain smokers, you know, 15, 20 years ago, they probably thought it was cool to be chain smokers. It was cool to smoke cigarettes way back when. 15, 20 years later today, it's not so cool. And they're stuck with that name. They're not going to change it. They're way too big at this point. So you need to think long term. You know, if you choose a moniker and you go with DJ Pillow, you know, you think DJ Pillow is really funny and, and you like pillows, but in 10 years, you might hate being called DJ Pillow, but now you're stuck with it. So the safest play is to just use your real name. Like for me, I'm Justin Cohen and my middle name is Sean. So maybe I wouldn't want to use my last name and I would just go with Justin Sean so that in 10 years, I'm still going to wake up and be Justin Sean. You know, it's not like I'm going to wake up and say, oh, I feel like Jeffrey today. No, I'm Justin. That's, that's who I am. That's not going to change. And I can guarantee that. Lesson number two, if you do hate your name, it's because you're so attached to your name. Let me explain. I have so many students and they don't want to use their real name. They've lived with it their whole life and they just can't see outside of it. They think it's dumb. They're so used to it. They don't know why it could be cool. But to an outsider, it could be totally fine. And just going back to the first thing I said in today's video, it also doesn't really matter. Your, your name is not going to dictate if you're really successful or not. So like I'll have a student named Enrique Mario and they'll hate it because they've lived with that name their whole life. But objectively, that's a cool name. There's nothing wrong with that name. It's a great name. But they just can't see that because they're from the inside. So don't look at your name and say it's, it's bags, it's my name. No, no, no. It could be totally fine. No one's going to care that much. Try to think about it objectively. Lesson three, if you're having trouble coming up with a name and you don't like your exact name, use a version of your name. So let me explain. This is one of those popular things that artists do. They take their real name and they just switch it up a bit. You know, they'll change some letters, they'll take some out, they'll add some on. Like Martisian, Garrisian, probably been saying that wrong, is Martin Garrix. Alessandro is Alesso. 
Axel is Axwell, or sometimes they'll take like different pieces from maybe a first name and a last name and, and put them together. So like Kygo takes the first part of his first name, and then that's the K, the KY, and then the GO from the part of his last name. So it's okay to like play around with some of the letters, add some, take some away, or maybe you want to use a name from a family member, from your dad, from someone you love. That's that's totally cool as well. And I see that more and more because I have students that will start out with the moniker, you know, they'll come up with the DJ pillow name, but then that won't be them. You know, that was them three years ago and they don't think it's cool anymore. They think it's dumb and they will end up using their name or just a version of their name. You know, when they thought it was so cool to be DJ pillow, well, that's because they were in college and they're not in college anymore. And their friends then thought it was cool. And now their friends don't. And like I said, it's way easier to just be you. Lesson number four, search engine optimization, also known as SEO. When you pick your name, you want to, you want to search it. You know, you should search it on Google, but more importantly, you should search it on Spotify. Now, go and search your name on Spotify because there might be five other artists with the same name. You know, oh, I like the name DJ Fire. But then you go on Spotify and there's like 10 other DJ Fires. And if you really wanted to be DJ Fire, those other people will be like ranked higher than you. When people search for you, they might not be able to find you. And there's all sorts of problems that can arise. Like for instance, and this actually happens a lot, you might run into trouble when you release a song and the label or the distribution service service accidentally puts your song on the wrong DJ fire. So ideally, you want a name that doesn't already exist on Spotify. Lesson number five, the length of your name and how it alters your logo. If you have a very long name, that's not a problem. It's not the end of the world. You'll just have to make your logo a certain way to accommodate, like Armin Van Buren. It's a very long name. It's okay. That's his actual name. He takes the first, the middle, and the end, and it's fine. That's his name. But for his logo, since it's so long, he has to stack things up. You just put the first name over the middle, over the last. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you have a very short name, you know, three, four, five, six letters, you have to think in a different way, like Alesso, very short, or Zed, very short. Also, totally fine names. Remember, your name is not going to make or break you. It's not going to make you successful or not. But they would then want to use, you know, bulkier letters, or Alesso spaces his letters out to get more real estate because he has less letters. So for this lesson, keep in mind the length of your name and how you're going to have to alter your logo to either get more space or potentially shrink it down and get into a closer space. Lesson number six, stop listening to your friends. The most common reason that my students choose their name is because their friends said it. Their friends like it. Their friends tell them that that's their name. Oh, my college friends call me DJ Fire because I, I make the most fire hot sauce. Realize that in five years, you're not going to be in college anymore. You might not even be making this hot sauce anymore. And those people might not even be your friend anymore. So basing your entire career off them is very unwise. Also, your friends are not that many people. Let's say there's maybe five or maybe 20 of them. I always ask my students, how many people really know you as that? And they'll say, I don't know a lot. I'll say, how much is a lot? And they'll start counting, like, I don't know, 20, 30. Well, you might have 5,000 people at your shows. You see that picture behind me? There's 5,000 people in that picture. That's a picture of one of my concerts. How many of my friends do you think are in that picture? How many of them are at that show? Maybe there's 10 of them in that picture at that show out of 5,000. That's less than 1%. Why would I make a decision for my business, for my career on less than 1% of the people and ignore the other over 99%? So you need to be focusing on everyone else, not just a small little circle of friends. You know, they might call you DJ Fire, but that kind of sucks for SEO. So maybe we should ignore those 10 people. And that brings me to lesson seven. And this is probably the most important one. One of the most important things about your name is that you like it. Your name will not sell you more tickets. Your name will not get you better gigs. This cool alias of yours is not going to be the thing that gets you signed. The only thing that's going to do that is your great music and your great brand. And your name is not your brand, remember. I never forget, I grew up in the 90s with bands that had the dumbest names in the world. The Smashing Pumpkins and Bush and the Foo Fighters. Just so stupid. Doesn't matter. I like their music. I like their brand. And when an artist used their real name, I didn't care either. I love Jimi Hendrix. I love Neil Young. I love them just 
just as much as David Bowie who made up the Bowie part. You're the one that's gonna have to see that name every single day. You're the one that's gonna have to live with it long term. Not your friends, not your family, but you. So pick a name that you're comfortable with. Pick a name that you think you'll be okay with in 10 years from now. And if that's just your name or a version of your name, that's fine, that's safe. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And if you got any value out of this video, please consider subscribing. It really means the world to us. And if you're sitting here just done thinking about your brand and your name and you wanna learn some amazing amazing things about the music making process. Watch this video next from Zach. This one is absolutely incredible. We'll see you next time.